This is Rio Link's latest camera to be added to their lineup. Now it was released a couple of months ago, however I'm finally getting around to doing a review for you. So this is 4K 180 degree camera and I hear you asking well how does that work? Well the fact that it has two lenses on the front of it. So let's start by having a look at what comes inside the box and the actual unit itself and then we get it configured on the app and then we're going to do what we normally do and take it outside and get it set up and working. But just before we do open this up, let's talk about some tech specs. So we have two-way audio on this, there's AI detection for person, and now there's also pet detection as well. It was in beta a little while ago, but we'll have a look and see if it still is. Unfortunately, I don't have any pets to test this on, but you'll have to take my word for it. We have color night view, which is the, all the latest craze with all the cameras at the moment, and the infrared lights allow you to see up to 30 meters away, which is something I do want to test. This does have both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi built into it, and Rio Link do mention that you can use this with their NVR as well. So all of these companies generally have the same sort of feel to them in terms of their look. So in terms of Ring, UFI, Rio Link, they all have the same sort of feel to how you unbox them. Inside here, uh, I'm guessing there's some instructions. Yep, as always, you definitely get a sticker with all of these. So 24 hour surveillance. So keep that one in mind if you want to stick that on your front door. Uh, you have a template on how to get this mounted and you have some instructions inside here, a quick start guide as well, but we're not really interested in those. Maybe we'll need our template shortly, but we don't need anything else from here. There's two Wi-Fi antennas because this is the Wi-Fi version. This does come in PoE as well, so keep that one in mind. So there is some screws on here and some wall plugs, so we're probably going to need those if we are going to mount this. We have the power adapter. This is required a 12 volt power, so if you have plugged somewhere near where you're mounting this, great. If not, you are going to need this. It does come with an extender, so if it's not close by, I think it's a 2 meter cable inside. If it's not close by, this looks like it's another 3 meters, so you can get a decent length on this. Comes with an ethernet cable. We have the mount that comes with it to get this mounted to the wall, so keep that to one side. There seems to be a weatherproofing for a network cable. And we have the camera itself. So this does come with, actually does come with ethernet. Now I'm gonna test this to see if this does work PoE, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I mean, it's probably just for a stable network connection. If you don't wanna use Wi-Fi, you do have the option to use the ethernet as well. So these adapters just here are for making this seal watertight. There is one more thing I did forget in the box and it comes with a screwdriver as well, which is always handy when you're trying to use these, always trying to find the right screwdriver. It's good that it comes with one. Now quickly showing you how this goes together. You plug your Wi-Fi antennas in on the side, so there's one on the right. That was a lucky guess, but it actually does say R on the side and on the antenna it actually says R as well. So not quite sure if you can see that. It's probably, you can't really probably see it in this light, but it says R on the side and R on the antenna as well. So I'm not quite sure if you can see that, but it does say L on it. There you go. You can probably just see it just there. So that's the L that goes on this side and we can get that screwed in. We are now set up to use this via Wi-Fi. As I mentioned earlier, this is what makes this a little bit different from the rest is it has two lenses on the front of it. So we're going to have a look at the picture also as well to see what difference it makes or how much of a split down the middle of the image is and how much it takes to lap over. There is six infrared lights on this, three on each, and there is four LED lights on each. So there's eight LEDs in total, and that is for your night color night vision and your IR vision, depending on whichever one you decide to use. Do remember to hit that like button if you haven't already and share it if you find it useful. Do remember to hit the subscribe button because I do bring you new videos every week and the links to the product is in the description below. Now there is a campaign running on AliExpress at the moment for Rio Link, so you've got until the 11th of November, so go ahead and check that out. And there also will be some Black Friday deals too. We're now looking at a video of me walking across in my back garden. So the width of my garden is probably about 30 to 35 meters probably. Uh, you can see the license plate also, how clear that is from one side to the other. Next, I'm doing the same sort of thing, but I'm walking from the back of my garden uh, all the way across. So the license plate is not as clear. So we're probably about 15-ish meters away and at the furthest point, maybe about eight meters. And this is me again, testing out the stitch between the two cameras. So it doesn't look too bad. I think I go a little bit off track towards the end, um, but that stitch is actually fairly clear and I think there isn't really a blind spot there. It just depends on how clear you want the image. 
This is an audio test on the Rio Link 180 degree Duo 2 camera. Uh, let's see how clear this is. I'm standing about one and a half meters away from the camera. The push notifications work fairly well and fairly quickly. As soon as you walk out into the frame, you're greeted with a notification like this. Next, we are looking at the back garden and you can see me going from night mode to color night mode. So that picked me up and then changed automatically. And then we're gonna to move to a sound test, so be wary of the sound. So fairly loud at 98 decibels. Now I'm walking from the back of my garden in three different areas. So one from the furthest point on the left side, and then I have a walk down the middle. And then the final part is I'm walking on the other side of the camera. So the camera at night is fairly clear. It does pick you up obviously as the closer you get to it. The IR sensors are actually quite decent. I don't think it will pick up 30 meters away. Maybe 30 meters is across the whole camera. When you're looking from one side to the other, it's probably picking up the grass space, which is about 25-ish meters, 20 to 25 meters. So reasonable amount of coverage with the IR camera, with the IR lens. And last but not least, we are walking across on the color night mode. I'm holding a license plate in my hand, which says my YouTube channel name on it. However, you can see the reflection on there makes it unreadable. But if someone has this during the night, they're able to probably reflect the image and you wouldn't be able to see them. As you've now seen the images for day and night, the camera works really well in the day and the night vision covers the garden fairly well from side to side. The app itself is really simple and easy to use. At just a click of a button, you're able to go through and see the playback and see what motions that were there and also check any other footage that you needed to. Using the QR code, you can share the camera with family and friends. The detection settings are simple also. You can set this up and even configure specific zones that you want to hear from. I didn't play around with this too much, but there is also a stitching option that allows you to fine tune so you can make that image as smooth as possible for your own scenario. The settings I showed you were out of box and I actually think they were fairly decent. I don't think there was any issues with them. Be careful how high you set the sensitivity setting, especially for this time of year because the leaves are always falling down to the ground. So I was getting a lot of notifications. So that's just one to keep in mind. Let me know in the comments below if you would use this camera in your house or would you stick to a traditional single lens camera? For me, I'm really happy that this covers the whole of my back garden from side to side. I don't need two cameras covering the whole area. I really hope you found this video useful. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.